Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough. In 1993, Transport Canada hired Gordon DuPont as a special programs coordinator to develop a human factors workshop called Human Performance and Maintenance Part 1. From that program came the Dirty Dozen, 12 factors seen as the greatest contributors to human error in aircraft maintenance. It's important to know the Dirty Dozen, know how to recognize their symptoms, and know the safety nets always to avoid or contain errors spawned by the Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen is typically realized when an out-of-balance condition exists. There's either too much or not enough of a thing, like too much pressure or too much stress, but not enough communication and not enough resources. Three of the Dirty Dozen are the dirtiest, and those are pressure, stress, and fatigue. These three factors usually aggravate the other factors. These dirtiest of the dirty dozen interact with the physical, emotional and psychological aspects of humans, accelerating and complicating circumstances that can lead to maintenance errors. Here's all 12, in no particular order. Lack of communications. Complacency. Lack of knowledge. Distraction. Lack of teamwork. Fatigue. Lack of parts. Pressure. Lack of assertiveness. Stress. Lack of awareness. And norms. Let's take a closer look at each of the dirty dozen of human factors. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Too much. Few industries have more constant pressure to see a task completed. The secret is the ability to recognize when this pressure becomes excessive or unrealistic. There can be pressure from many angles. Pressure to get to the gate. Scheduled deadlines that are too tight. Flat rake work orders that should have been time based. Too many projects, too little time. Hovering customers. Irate management. Pilot egos. And here comes that nitpicky know it all, the punk inspector. Stop. Assess the situation. Look at your work rationally. Can it be done safely in the time allotted and with the tools and parts available? If not, forcefully and clearly voice your concerns. Imagine what's the worst that could happen. What are the safety nets for pressure? Be sure pressure isn't self-induced. Communicate your concerns. Ask for extra help. Just say no.